we've got a very rich description of the structure, the architecture of this system that we're building. Um, but I've come to the point where I'd like to start exploring dynamics. That is actually how the thing works, how these components interact. Uh, and before they do that, I'm going to add another package over the in, in the model explorer over in the left-hand side here to include that um, uh, model analysis, that design analysis. Having defined my package called Design Analysis, I now want to add a diagram below that, specifically designed to describe the dynamics of systems like this, and that is the pattern of communication between the blocks. And that's called a sequence diagram. There's my sequence diagram. Blank canvas. In order to describe the way the different parts communicate with each other, I need to drag some of those onto this diagram. And they come from the design um, folder here. But you do need to be careful here because what I'm not going to drag on are these blocks. Remember, those are type definitions. But rather, I'm going to drag on the instantiations I made within the microwave oven. So these are specific parts that are going to be going to be realised, whereas the um, the blocks were just type definitions. Um, let me just choose uh, one of those now. I'm going to choose the um, timer and drag that on. I'll just make it wider so that I can see it. And now I'm going to do the same with the microwave emitter. Having drawn my two lifelines, I can now show how these two things exchange messages with each other. And the um, kind of message I'm interested in this is this one called the um, asynchronous message. I click on the uh, menu item and then on the first lifeline. it onto the second. Um, a dialog box appears and I think this is where the power of the model shows because if I cl click on this filter out all signals which are not receivable when I list the type of signals that can go between there it, it only shows those sorts of messages which already um, I've told the model can be exchanged by those two parts and I'm going to in the first instance switch the microwave emitter on. I can now do the same again with a second asynchronous message. And remembering that time is running down the page here. So here I've made a description of the timer sending two messages to the microwave emitter. First to switch on and then a short time later switch it off. 
Um, notice that this is not a hard real-time description of this system. There's no um, strong indication that this happened one minute later or two minutes later or three milliseconds later. Um, rather, it just shows that they happen um, broadly in sequence one after the other. So it's not a terribly strong description of a real-time system, but it's more of a um, telling the story of how these components interact.